Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the third and the fourth problem of today's weekly contest. Minimum cost for cutting cake 2, minimum cost for cutting cake 1. Both the problems are exactly similar. The only difference lies in the constraint. We will be starting with the brute force solution, specifically n square m square multiplied by n plus m. We can, will then optimize it to uh, n cross m solution. And finally, we will optimize it to n log n plus m log m solution. So, if you are here just for a specific section, you can jump to that section. All the timestamps are there in the description down below. Having said that, I would encourage you to watch the complete video so that you can understand the exact thought process behind each of these optimization. So, with that, let's get started. The problem states that you are given uh, n cross m cake that needs to be cut into one cross one pieces and you are given this two integers m and n and two arrays the first array is horizontal cut this is of size m minus one the value at the ith position of this array denotes what is the cost to cut along the horizontal line i similarly there is a vertical cut array the value at a position j in the array denotes the cost to cut along the vertical line j. Now in one operation you can choose any piece of cake that is not one into one and can either perform a horizontal cut at line i or a vertical cut at line j. If you make a horizontal cut you will be paying this much cost and if you make a vertical cut you will be paying this much cost. Now you have to return the minimum total cost to cut the entire cake into one cross one pieces right so let's take an example let's say m is 3 n is 2 that is there is 3 by 2 cake horizontal cut is 1 comma 3 that is uh, if you cut along the first horizontal line you will be paying a cost of 1 if you cut along the second horizontal line you will be paying a cost of 3 and vertical cut is 5 which is basically there is just one vertical cut that you can do so that vertical cut cost is 5. Now one of the optimal ways is you have this array you divide by vertically you get 2 then you take this one divide horizontally you take this one divide horizontally you take this one divide horizontally you take this one and divide horizontally. So if you go via this process you are making one vertical cut which cost you 5 two horizontal cut along the first line which will cost you 1 cross 2, 2 and two horizontal cuts along the line 3 that will cost you 3 plus 3 which is 6. 6 plus 2, 8 plus 5, 13. 13 is the cost of this particular of cutting this entire thing into a 1 cross 1 cake in this particular way. You can try out any other way you will not be able to cut the entire cake into 1 cross 1 pieces in less than 13 cost and hence the answer here is 13 right now what's the most intuitive way to solve this problem so let's say you have this uh, cake and uh, for simplicity we have assumed that uh, the cost is 1 2 3 4 5 and so does on the horizontal line as well that is if you make a cut this it will cost you two dollar or two unit and similarly if you make a cost like this uh, if you make a cut like this you will be paying three units um, now what is the first cut that you can make there are various possible choice right you can either make this as your first cut in that case you will be having two cakes of this and this sizes you can either make a this one the cut like this in this case you will be basically after this cut you will be having two cake one on the left and one on the right similarly you can make a cut like this or this or this or you can make a cut like this or this or this right so you have total eight possible choices here in the first scenario now let's focus on one of the scenario first let's try to solve that and see if we can 
move further along so let's say you make this particular cut right now after this cut what do you have you have two cakes one of this and second of this right and what you want you want what is the minimum cost to cut this entire cake into one cross one pieces what is the minimum cost to cut this entire cake into one cross one pieces and you can just sum them all up to get what is the total cost to cut the entire cake into one cross one pieces right so isn't the problem of finding out minimum cost for this piece and this piece equivalent to the original problem itself so original problem was what is the minimum cost to cut this entire cake into one cross one pieces right so let's say there is a function f that gives you uh, that takes an takes a cake right and gives you what is the minimum cost to cut this entire cake into one cross one pieces now you decide to cut it across this and after this you get two different cakes of smaller sizes now what you want you want what is the cost to cut this entire piece into one cross one pieces what is the minimum cost to cut this entire cake into one cross one pieces so hope you can see the recursion here now let's look at it formally let's say you are dividing this entire array uh, sorry this entire matrix into all possible ways so you make a cut you can do any horizontal cuts and you can do any vertical cuts right so let's say you start you start by making horizontal cuts like this right or you can have other horizontal cuts as well and then you start by making vertical cuts like this again you can have other vertical cuts as well now this is your one of the way to make the first cut and after this cut what you want you still want what is the minimum cost to cut this entire thing what is the minimum cost to cut this entire thing right similarly you want what is the minimum cost to cut this entire thing what is the minimum cost to cut this entire thing and similarly for this and for this and so on and so forth now let's say you get x1 here and y1 here so if you choose this route then you initially paid a cost of 3 to cut it like this sorry you initially paid a cost of 2 to cut it like this so you paid a cost of 2 and then you are paying a cost of x1 to make this entire thing a 1 cross 1 matrix you are paying a cost of y1 to cut this entire thing into 1 cross 1 pieces so total cost if you make this cut to cut this entire thing into 1 cross 1 pieces is 2 plus x1 plus y1 similarly if you go this route you are paying an initial cost of 3 in this route and then let's say you are f of this is coming as x2 f of this is coming as y2 so you are paying x2 cost to cut this entire thing into 1 cross 1 pieces y2 cost to cut this entire thing into 1 cross 1 pieces so overall you are paying 3 plus x2 plus y2 cost to cut this entire thing into 1 cross 1 pieces and so on and so forth so you have a list of ways in which you can cut this entire matrix into 1 cross 1 pieces and for each of them you have the cost it will take to do so so for example for this path we just now figured out that it will take 2 plus x1 plus y1 it will take 3 plus x2 plus y2 and similarly there are other paths as well among all of these we can simply take the minimum and that will be my answer basically that will be the minimum cost to cut this entire cake into one cross one pieces right so what is the pseudocode the pseudocode would be exactly what we discussed uh, we will having will be having a function f that takes in a rectangle or a matrix and gives us what is the minimum cost to cut this entire thing into a cost into a grid of one cross one right now how do you represent a matrix the easiest way to represent a rectangle is take the top left and take the bottom right cell and if you have these two you can represent this entire thing 
So instead of uh, having f as a matrix, you will say, simply say that f will take in four arguments. One, the row and column of the top left cell. Second, the row and column of the bottom right cell. So if you do so, this is how your pseudocode would look like. We are taking in the top left cell and the bottom right cell and this function f will return what is the minimum cost to cut this matrix into a size of 1 cross 1. Now if this is already a size of 1 cross 1, we don't need to cut this further and we will simply return 0. Otherwise, uh, this is the memorization part, we will come to it. Otherwise, we will try out every possible cut. So for example, let's say you have to figure out uh, let's just uh, rub some of these. So let's say you want to figure out the value of f of this. Now in this matrix, what you will do, you will say, okay, there are various possible choice, either this or this or this or this or this or this or this, right? So basically for a particular sub matrix, you will first try to make all the horizontal cuts, see what all values you are getting, take minimum across all of them. Then try to make all vertical cuts, see what all values we are getting for each of them and take minimum across all of them, right? So that's what we are doing. We first do all the horizontal cuts, right? So for each horizontal cut, you will have a top matrix and a bottom matrix. So you want what is the minimum cost to cut this entire top matrix into a grid of size 1 cross 1. Bottom, what is the minimum cost to cut this entire bottom matrix into a grid of size 1 cross 1. So this top matrix still starts at R comma C. The top left cell is still same, but the bottom right cell is now change. The value of R for this is the place where you cut. So the value of the bottom right is R comma C2 rather than R2 comma C2. And similarly, for the down part, the value of the top left will change to R plus 1 C1 and the bottom right will still say R2 comma C2. So once you have the total cost for the top matrix and the bottom matrix, you can simply figure out the total cost to cut the original matrix into 1 cross 1 by simply summing up top and down and by adding what is the cost to cut the current uh, cost of the current cut as well. So you will keep on taking minimum across all such values. And once you have tried out all the horizontal cuts, you will simply try out all vertical cuts in the same fashion. I haven't written the uh, sub problem intentionally so that uh, there is something for you to think about. Now, similarly, you will take minimum across all of such values. And finally, this answer will contain what is the minimum cost to cut the original matrix into sizes of one cross one, right? Now, if you do it naively, this would be like there will be a lot of repeating sub problems, right? Why? Uh, for example, let's say you solved this particular matrix here, right? But when you expand this thing into various possible choices, one of the choices would be you will make a cut here. And in that case, what you will have, you will have a matrix of uh, 2 cross x in the upside and 1 cross x in the downside. So basically this matrix that you have here is equals to this matrix that you had here. So the value would be same if you compute the total value to figure to break down this matrix into one cross one sizes. So because there are overlapping sub problems and you don't want to waste your time computing overlapping sub problems, we can simply memorize it and deduce the complexity to just solving every problem exactly once. Right? And that's where we simply check whether we have computed this part previously. If we have, we simply return it. If we don't, we compute it and store it as well. So that next time when we come to this sub problem, we already would have the answer. Now, what is the overall time complexity of this algorithm? Number of ways, number of unique ways to call this function f multiplied by what you are doing inside this function, right? So total number of state multiplied by what you are doing inside each of the state. So we'll come to state. Let's figure out what we are doing inside each of the state. We are 
drawing out every possible horizontal and vertical cuts. So this loop in worst case can go up to order m time where m is the number of rows and the loop below that can go up to order n time where n is the number of columns right now inside each of the loop we are doing some simple mathematical operation so that will be simply order one so overall we are doing order m plus n operations in for each of the state right and now how many unique states will be there number of distinct value of r1 that is m number of distinct value of c1 that is n number of distinct value of r2 again m number of distinct value of c2 again n so total number of ways in which this can be called in worst case is m square multiplied by n square so overall complexity is m square multiplied by n square multiplied by n cross m right so this is your overall time complexity now this is sufficient to pass the problem 3 of today's contest so if you look at the problem 3 the value of m and n is 20 so 20 to the power 4 plus uh, 20 to the power 4 multiplied 20 plus 20 which is you can assume the 20 so 20 to the power 5 is the overall complexity which is 10 power 5 multiplied by 32 which is well within the time limit right so you can if you are not able to approach this part during the contest this is the very right time to pause and try to code this and get it submitted as well before moving further so let's next we're looking at the code uh, again if you have uh, coded this you can skip to the next section so the code is exactly what we discussed we have a function f in this case we have named f as min cost right and that takes in r1 c1 r2 c2 and gives us what is the total of what is the minimum cost to break this matrix into sizes of one cross one right now what we are doing is we initialize our dp array with minus one uh, and we have these two like we have stored this cost of vertical and horizontal cut in h and v array so that we have that access inside this uh, function and finally we simply call this function and say okay tell me the minimum cost to cut the matrix starting at 0 comma 0 ending at m minus 1 comma m minus 1 that is the complete matrix now what we are doing inside this if it is already one cross one matrix we will simply return 0 if we have already computed this value we will simply return that otherwise we will try out every possible vertical cut get the value of left and right sum left and right and the cost of current vertical cut and take minimum across all of them and then try out all possible horizontal cut as well take the value of top and down sum them up and the cost of the current cut and take minimum across all of them and finally answer contain what is the minimum cost to cut this entire given matrix into sizes of 1 cross 1 right so hope this